And they're just like, I'm going out with my girls. We're going out to have drinks and brunch. We're going to go do a ton of fun stuff because we're girls. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, but I'm here now. So let's get started. I'm not too good with lighting. I feel like my nose is shiny. Let me see. But we're going to go ahead and get started. All right. So here we are. Listen, I know I keep saying that I'm, <laughs> I keep saying that like, I'm not going to keep going places, but I do. But you guys, this time it's better. This is what had happened. What had happened was, is that I, first of all, let's talk about this video. This video is going to really be like a get ready with me luxury haul edition. Like I needed to record this. I'm about to go out tonight. I'm going to tell you about that already, but let's just get started in the whole scheme of things. And it's awkward because I'm filming with my front, front camera because I haven't really figured out the back camera situation. Like, I'm still learning here. And don't talk about my hair, please. I'm trying to get it together. I think I want to go curly for the summer. With that being said, so I recorded like two videos for you guys. I recorded a notary video. I recorded a notary, ugh, notary video for you. And I also recorded something else on like finances and budgeting and side hustles. And when I recorded it, it was like horrible lighting and I looked a hot mess. Okay. Yeah. So I have recorded a, I'm going to keep fixing my hair because I'm annoyed. I recorded a notary video, ugh, a notary video and some other stuff. The lighting was bad, but what the worst part was is that I was like not looking at the camera the whole time. Like I was looking like off to here, like talking in this kind of way, looking at myself instead of looking at the thing. And that's why I was like, I need to work out this like flipping over the back camera stuff regardless I'm here and I got some better lights and I was like you know it's really difficult I'm going into a rant right now but like this whole YouTube thing is just kind of different difficult in a sense because you're having to figure everything out um and luckily I've been able to like watch some YouTube videos to help and stuff but let's just go ahead and get started so I'm already telling you right now like I don't know why I keep apologizing stuff because I don't really need to because I'm just living life but my friend called me randomly and I'm talking about these shoes and stuff but my friend randomly called me and he was like, hey, you know, like, I'm gonna be in Atlanta, you know, like, can you like, you know, let's meet up or whatever. And then I was like, sure, like, that's fine. And then he was like, okay, like, he texted me from work and he was like, okay, so where are we going tonight? And I was like, where are we going? Mm, like, why, why would I know? I was like, I go out, but I don't go out. Ooh, the thing's shaking. I go out, but I don't go out. Like, I, I know some spots. I don't, I know some spots, but I don't know these spot. I, you know, I just end up places, but apparently we're going out in Atlanta tonight and I was like, my nails aren't done. So let me just go ahead and tell you what I'm about to do. None of this is sponsored. I'm just living life as a normal girl. Um, so I got these, probably these, I got these right here because I saw somebody on TikTok had them and like, I wear kiss. I wear a kiss a lot because it's really expensive to get your nails done now. Like they're really milking this whole like inflation thing right now. Um, so I got these because these are like a bare nude. Do you see that? bare nude they look like they're gonna look really cute so i'm gonna do it and then i'm gonna let you know how they turn out maybe i'll insert a clip at the end i don't know these are how the nails turned out i'm literally obsessed with them i'm gonna just go ahead and buy a pack of them now talk about these shoes that i got um that i didn't need to buy but i bought them anyways um i'm we're gonna mm, okay let's just let's just start we're gonna start with some pretty simple ones. So I got these from Nordstrom Rack and I'm very excited because, okay, here's the thing. I wear like a lot of nudes and stuff and I don't know, if, I've always wore nudes. My house is cream, um, tans. If my house could be tanner, I would love for it to be tanner. Like it's got gray in it, but I want some more tan. But I was like, Shayla, you need to be different. Hence, hence this, you know, I'm. this is really cute. It's a dress, it's long, but it's cute. It's stretchy. Um, So hence me wearing this. And I love the color gold, right? So I was like, you know what? Let's get some cute shoes. So I saw these at Nordstrom Rack and they were Vince Camuto. I think I'm saying that right, Camuto. And they were $60 and they're gonna insert in right now. Look at them. Aren't they so adorable? Oh, like, don't you love them? Like they're giving, they're giving what they need to give. Like these are perfect for a work. I didn't even think about that, but they're perfect for work. And they're just like, I'm going out with my girls. We're going to go to have drinks and brunch. We're going to go do a ton of fun stuff because we're girls. And um, I'm in love. I'm in love with these. And the heel height. Let's talk about the heel height, right? Because, and normally also, side note, I say with Nordstrom Rack, like you can still go online and you can still find a lot of this too. <gasps> you know what? Oh my God. 
I was, oh, I just realized I bought some shoes from Nordstrom Rack, the Vince ones in my other TikTok video. And they're sitting in the mailroom right now. And I want to do, I'm going to do a second luxury video. I'm going to do a second video. But yeah, these are cute heel height. I'm not going to fall. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to still look cute. Put them on now. But I'm not going to because I'm looking kind of rough. So these are the first five. Like I said, these were 60. Vince Camuto, really cute. The second ones. Okay, so I saw these shoes a while ago. And I am in love with Birkenstocks. I love Birkenstocks. I'm one of those girls. I was raised, you know, in a suburban high school. I love um, Uggs. I wasn't into Sperry's. They just weren't my shoe. They weren't my thing. They didn't look cute on me. Um, but I loved, you know, Birkenstocks, not the potato looking ones, the open toe with the Jesus sandals, they call it. I love those. And then I also loved uh, Uggs, like I said. But when I saw these. And so, and so one of my favorite luxury brands are um, is Louis Vuitton. I, now, I'm going to do just a whole Louis channel for y'all. I would, but I saw and I had to have them because they so cute and I love them. These shoes are to die for. I um saw some still available online, but I also saw them on like trades. I don't know. I don't know how some people feel about being in sh other shoes that people have been in. Like I'm not too much of a fan of that but you can find them unworn on tradesy in the real real but these are just like i wear these all the time i i love these and i would never stop loving them so we're gonna go ahead and put these down so i had to look it up retail price they're about a grand probably with some tax they're gonna come out to like 1100 1200 or something like that sorry i got a message um what i will say um what was i gonna say yeah, I just love them. They're about a grand. They do come in European sizes. So be aware if you're like 38 and a half, 39, whatever, you know, but they are true to size is what I will say, what I've learned. Okay. These I saw and I was also in love. Um, These, let me tell you something. I loved Bridgington and I still love Bridgington. Uh, I was going to be like Mr. Sheffield, but that was totally Fran fine. But I, I love Bridgington. And these shoes gave me Bridgington. These shoes, sometimes me and my friend, we will text back and forth and we will be like, what would Meghan Markle do? Not in a like, what would Jesus do kind of way, of course, but just like in a really like, not what would Meghan Markle do, but what would Meghan Markle wear? So I'd be like, is this Meghan Markle? Do you think Meghan Markle will wear this? Because like we are obsessed with Meghan. Like who is it? And her style is just like chef's kiss of all things. So I saw these and this is what happened. This is what I do all the time. So I'll see something in the store and I'll be like, no, 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 Shayla, you don't need to buy it. You don't, you don't need that, but I do need it. And then there's like a hair in my face. Here's the thing, I'll go to the store and I'll be like, no, Shayla, you don't need to buy this. And then I'll send a ton of pictures to my sister, which I did. And then I was like, I'm gonna go home and try and find it cheaper. That is what I do. I will go home and I'll be like, I can find this cheaper. I bet I can, like, I love the hunt. And then I ended up winding up not finding these. Like these were so, I'm hiding them. These were so hard to find that I had to run back to the store the next day. I was freaking out. I was like, oh my God, I don't even want to go to go work. I want to go buy these shoes. And because the thing is, I thought they were broken, but they weren't broken. And I'm going to tell you why I thought they were broken. Yes, I talk fast. Like, it is what it is. Okay. So, I saw these. <laughs> I saw these. I mean, like, aren't they amazing? Like, Oh my gosh, like these are giving you Bridgington, like full force Bridgington right here. Like, look at them. Love them, love them, love them, love them. I thought these were broken because of this. So if you look right here, I don't know if you can see, but like it looked broken for some reason. And I was like, oh, I don't need it. like that. It was this, this looked broken. But I realized that's just the style of the shoe. Like, that's just how the shoe is. Like, it's like that on this side. Like, it's just, it's not, <laughs> it's not a full clasp, if that makes sense. So it looked broken, but it wasn't. And I came back and they were pricey. Er, they were pricey. I mean, you can't really come back from talking about Louis shoes and be like, they pricey, you know, but that, those were a must have. Those were going to always give. These were 150. Haven't even worn them. These were 150. Also at Nordstrom Rack. And I realized that's just the that's the symbol of the actual shoe, if you see right there. That's the symbol. So yeah, um, the Lafayette 148 New York. Try and find these online. I don't know. Try and find Nordstrom Rack. Um, the Louis weren't from Nordstrom. They were from Louis. Um, the Vince and these are from Lafayette. And then the next ones. 
So the next ones is right back here. You guys like my little wall? I did some cute little trinkets. Mm -hmm. Trinkets. Um, these babies, I love them. Literally had to have them. And so I was like, Shayla, we're going, we're being different again, right? We're about to be different. We're gonna go and get different colors. Like you need to be different in spring and summer. You need to brighten up your life. Color looks good on you. Color looks amazing on you. So I got, let me hide them for you. So believe it or not, I got these on eBay. And people be looking at me crazy when I say eBay because they be like, oh my God. So first of all, eBay does not sell all used stuff. eBay is, they have warehouses that get items or whatever, or people, like I bought purses from eBay and stuff. People just automatically sell stuff. It's not used. But even if it is used, like you can use gently used stuff. Like people really be tripping. They're like, I don't love eBay. And I'd be like, I've sold on eBay a lot of times and I've bought off of eBay. Sometimes I don't use other sites because they have been increasing their fees a lot lately and I just don't like that. So these are it. They come in this cute little dust bag. Love them. And these made me feel very, oh, I didn't even notice the red. Oh, beautiful. These are also in European sizes, but here they are. Are they, are they backwards? Sorry, let me do it again. But here they are. Aren't these amazing? Aren't they? Look at them. Oh, look, 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 look. I don't know where I'm, I'm just looking anywhere. Look at the back, two-toned. It's two-toned and they're unique. And I was like, you know what? I'm a real big fan of unique. Like if I'm gonna buy luxury, it needs to be unique. I don't do like the regular Louis because, not Louis, I don't do the regular, um, what is it, Christians? No, Louboutins. Yeah, I don't do those most of the time because like if they're not too unique, but they did have a cute black pair with the spikes on them. But this is talking about Jimmy Choo time, Jimmy Choo's. So like, I love like the detailing, like look, there's red right there. It's like red on one side, pink on the other side. Asymmetrical satin is what they are. And I mean, they are just, I got a size 39. They're beautiful. And these, these have not been worn. So just like the only thing you'll see is like the sticker on the bottom where they took it off. Um, these I think were about 500. They're normally a thousand, but they were 500. So these were definitely a steal. So like I'm in love with them. Ooh, I thought I almost scraped it. Really good satin material. I don't think I'm gonna wear these out tonight. Like I said, I got on this orange outfit. I think it's safe to say, say that I might just like go out with these or some nude heels, but I'm feeling like these, but I don't think this, this orange really matches. It's like an off match. So I'm like, eh, no, like we're not feeling offy. Um, mm, I take that back. So yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm wearing, but it was just a quick get ready for me. <laughs> it was just a quick get ready for me. Like this is what I'm about to wear. Like I said, I'm about to go ahead and do my nails. Um, I don't know what perfume I'm about to wear. I'm feeling I don't know. There's a Chanel and some other stuff back there. If you guys want to see a video on like my favorite going out outfits, let me know. If you want to see something on my perfume, you know, I'm really just here for you. You guys are normally really great and give me good responses. Um, so I, I'm going to get really better. I promise. I'm going to get better at sending videos and stuff. So, you know, thanks for tuning in and I can't wait to upload more for you. So thanks. Um, but what else was I going to say? Yeah. Back to me going out in Atlanta tonight. So yeah. So while I'm here, I can go ahead and find my face. Yeah, so my friend was just like, basically, he wanted to go out. And I'm just like, look, I don't know all the spots in Atlanta, but we're just going to make something happen. But the truth of the matter is, is that I have work tomorrow. Like, who doesn't have work tomorrow? Like, I am no longer working from home like how I used to be working from home. So I will be in the office in the middle of traffic. So, you know, we're going to go out. We're going to have a good time. And I'm going to post some videos on my TikTok. Oh, side note, go follow my TikTok. I like redone it so I'm trying to like shape how I want that to look and go follow my Instagram it's also below so yeah just tell me request below what else you want to see okay thanks bye